Rooms in Revit represent and describe space. Before you can place a room, your model must contain room bounding objects. Model elements that can bind rooms are walls, floors, ceilings, roofs, and architectural columns. When you are ready to place rooms, Revit can place them automatically. To place rooms automatically, first start the Room tool. On the Architecture ribbon, in the Room and Area panel, click Room. The ribbon changes to the Modify Place Room Contextual ribbon. In the Room panel, there is a Place Rooms Automatically tool. But you should not click this tool until you have specified all the options so that the rooms will be created properly. In the Tag panel, there is a Tag on Placement toggle. When toggled on, the button has a dark background and all the rooms will be tagged when they are created. The room tag that is placed can be selected in the Type Selector. When toggled off, a tag will not be included, but you can tag rooms later as needed. Leave Tag on Placement toggled on for this example. When tags are included, you can control the orientation in the Options bar. It can be set to Horizontal, Vertical, or Model. However, when creating rooms automatically, selecting Model simply places the tags horizontally. The Model option works when placing rooms manually. Additionally, in the Options bar, you can choose whether or not to add a leader to the tag. There is also a room drop-down that is available to place any unplaced rooms. However, you should simply leave this set to New, as you cannot place unplaced rooms when using the Place Rooms Automatically tool. Next, you need to specify the vertical constraints for the rooms. Be aware that rooms will be placed in enclosed areas greater than 0.25 square feet. Also, when placing rooms automatically, rooms will only be placed at the current level. So if you want to create rooms on other levels, you will need to repeat this process on the other levels. With that in mind, you can specify the constraints parameters in the Properties palette. Remember that the vertical constraints for rooms behave differently based on how room volumes are computed. Essentially, you can specify that Revit calculates areas and volumes, or just areas. When only the areas are being calculated, the volume will be set to Not Computed in the Properties palette. The constraints parameters can still be used to set the height of the room. However, when volumes are not computed, the height only affects the level on which the room appears. Any room bounding element, such as a floor or ceiling, will not affect the vertical constraints. When the volumes are computed, then a room bounding object will override the top and bottom constraints if they intersect the limit. In other words, a room bounding object will define the vertical constraints even if you specify the top or bottom to extend past it. In this project, the volume is currently not computed. Therefore, when placing rooms automatically, all the rooms will be placed based on the constraints set in the Properties palette. If you want room bounding elements like floors and ceilings to constrain rooms, then you should end the command and then change the setting first. Leave it as is for this example. In the Properties palette, the level is not available and is set to the associated level of the current view, which in this case is Level 1. You can then use the Upper Limit and Limit Offset parameters to specify the top constraint of the room. These are the same as the Upper Limit and Offset controls in the Options bar respectively. The offset can be a positive or negative value to either extend the upper limit above or below the upper limit. You can also specify a base offset in the Properties palette 
to extend the lower boundary either above or below the level. For this example, in the options bar, set the upper limit to level 2 and the offset to 0. Before placing rooms automatically, you can click Highlight Boundaries in the contextual ribbon to see all the room defining elements in the current view. When you do, a warning dialog appears, stating that room bounding elements are highlighted. You cannot place rooms while this warning appears, but you can navigate around the view to see the highlighted boundaries. To return to placing rooms, simply click Close. Finally, before placing rooms automatically, you should check the name in the Properties palette. This name will be used for each room that is created, and the number will be incremented. Once you are ready to place rooms automatically, simply click Place Rooms Automatically. After Revit creates the rooms, a dialog appears showing the number of rooms that were created. The only option is to click Close. At this point, you can modify the rooms as needed. For example, you may need to adjust the height of rooms that extend up to another level, or you may want to renumber the rooms. If you realize a mistake was made, you can click Undo to remove the rooms.